Good morning. Happy Saturday. If you're wondering how my day's going, <laughs> oh, we've like literally kind of just recovered from last weekend. So last weekend we went up north, we were in Manchester for the weekend. We had an amazing time, but I'm just like, like we left home at like half eight Friday night. Reuben did not sleep very well. Like, it's a different space, it's a different environment. Um, but yeah, it's like we got to Manchester, I think we got to our hotel at like half two, quarter to three, and Reuben got up at ten past five. And then he was awake till gone nine the Saturday night. And then at like ten past two, woke up the Sunday morning got into bed with us and he kind of he sn snoozed on and off till five but um I do not know how people do the whole sleeping in bed with the toddler we've never really we've never really done it when he was a baby because you just get head butted and kicked and punched in the face while they're asleep so you don't get any rest so yeah so he did that on Sunday and then we got home I think we got back to Cornwall about 1am and I went to work on Monday in the office. I was in like in Toro for ten past eight. So yeah, it was a long. It was worth it. It was a really good weekend, but there was like zero sleep. And by Tuesday, I was like, Monday, I just thought I was tired. And then Tuesday's like, no, I've got a cold. And Wednesday, I woke up and my eyes were all swollen up, like super puffy. Um, COVID testing all the way, absolutely fine. Um, the cold. It's kind of gone to a bit of a, I say, you know, that's going. Uh, and then yesterday, I was at the dentist. And I do not, I'm not a fan. Like, my dentist is lovely. It's this South Africa. Oh, you're coming up, Baba. You coming? We're like half climbing on me, half watching Bluey. Um, there we go. Oh, good job. Good job. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like, say hi. Ah. Hi. So yeah, my dentist is a lovely bloke. He's a South African guy and he's like so dry witted. He is hilarious. Um, he has got grandchildren a similar age to me, so he probably shouldn't be being a dentist anymore. Um, you know, he's an older chap. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. But uh, yesterday, is it me? Mm. Oh. Oh. Are we having a morning nap today? No, I didn't think so. Um, yeah, is it me or does the hygienist hurt more than the dentist? I'm like, the lady I saw yesterday, oh, it was brutal. Like, I just felt like this whole side of my face was swollen she beasted me um so yeah that was yesterday and then this morning reuben got up at five to five so 4 55 reuben who very rarely says mama was stood up in his cot turning the bedroom light on going mama mama because he knows i'll come running <sighs> so yes that is my five minute ramble about why i am tired <laughs> oh my roots need doing can wait a little bit longer oh, they really can't we're going away it's like may tomorrow and we're going away at the beginning of june can i wait or do i do it twice between now and then oh i don't know there yeah, look there's some lovely hair growth from postpartum you know reuben is 20 months old and it's <laughs> fabulous anyway weekend plans today is Trithic Day, Dick Trithic Day, um, which isn't in the town we live, like our closest, it's not even the closest town we live to, but it's not that far from us. And um, we used to live, um, it's a place called Camborne, it is famous for the invention of the steam, Dick Trithic invented the steam engine or something. Anyway, Trithic Day is like an annual thing and they celebrate Camborne and blah blah blah. And John and I have not been for years. Obviously, it's not been on for a few years because of COVID. 
Um, but I don't think we've actually been since we lived in Campbell and <laughs> we've lived here for, I don't know, 12 years, 13 years now. And even when we did go, it was just an excuse for daytime drinking. However, apparently, according to online sources, there's going to be lots of family friendly things there this year. So I think we're going to take a bit of that this afternoon. Once John finishes work, and that's Mama's, um, and then tomorrow is rugby, and then Monday's a bank holiday. But I don't think we have any plans. But yeah, so that that's kind of the rundown of my life. Um, it's definitely breakfast time. A girl cannot survive on coffee and, and energy drinks alone. Um, yeah. Don't worry, Reuben has eaten, he's had a bot bot, or well, he's had two bot bots, not something that normally happens, um, but because he got up so early, he's had two bottles, um, and he's also had a packet of veggie crisps, because anything before 6am is acceptable. But now I'm going to make real breakfast. Oh, by the way, John's at work. <laughs> oh, breakfast for Reuben, breakfast for Mama. Then I'm gonna have a coffee. These yogurts are well nice. Um, but yeah. Oh, it's breakfast time! Reuben is finally dressed. It was a battle. Was it a battle to get you dressed today? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Reuben's favourite parts of getting dressed is. Oh, you've got mummy's vitamins. Lovely. Thank you. Ruben's favourite bits of getting dressed is normally brushing teeth, the lotion and having his hair brushed. His least favourite part is putting the socks on. Today we had a meltdown. We are 20 months old. It is too early for the terrible twos. We had a full meltdown brushing his teeth, which he's never done before. It's normally when you try and take the toothbrush off him that we have issues. But today, meltdown brushing his teeth. Uh, he tried to eat the lotion and wouldn't let me get the hairbrush anywhere near him. So I have not even attempted socks. If he's not playing ball with the things he likes, socks can wait until we're going out later and I can put shoes on him. But yeah, clearly getting up at five to five is having an impact on his mood. But his outfit is cute. He's got a little gap dungarees on. The t-shirt's from Primark. And then I've got a little jacket that like hoodie thing from jojo mama which i put over it when we go out later right i think i'm gonna try and give him a bottle and see if he'll go to sleep because he's clearly tired and grumpy it's taken an hour but he's finally asleep time to get out of the pajamas and do something for this Oh, I'm looking tanned. Do I look tanned in real life? You do a bit. It's because I'm glowy. I've got this new illuminizer thing that you put on under your base that I've seen people talk about on Instagram. It's like a Charlotte Tilbury dupe, but it's like three quid from Wilco. I can't make my mind up. In like some light, I like oh, I look dewy and fresh, and in other lights, I just look sweaty. Um, but yeah. Anyway, the morning disappeared. We're now in the car. Before I turned on the camera, John and I was humming or singing the Toddler Club theme tune. Yeah, because we're cool. Ruben is wide awake. Well, maybe not wide awake, but Ruben's awake. Uh, we're off to this like fair towny thing. This fair town thing. This fair that's in a town. There might be rides for Reuben, there might not be rides. All it's the pictures. Yeah. yeah, all the pictures I've seen so far are just people day drinking. It's a, it's a celebration of Richard Trevillick, who first was the first man to discover the forward propelled vehicle, steam engine basically. Not steam engine rocket, steam engine. And then he got drunk and left it running. So no one ever remembers it, except for people in Campbell. And then he has his own day, and that's what we're going 
going to. Uh, <laughs> the morning went quite quickly. Ruben slept for a little bit over an hour, like an hour and 20. Um, got a few bits done, swore at the computer a lot. Um, I'm having iMovie issues. I don't know if it's iMovie or if it's my stuff. So basically the food hall for tomorrow, the intro and the outro work on iMovie. The actual bit that shows you the groceries, Doesn't. it has audio, there's no video. But if you watch it on my phone, it works. I it, always it. Well, I've, I've done that and it's still, I've re turned it on and off again. So I'm trying to upload it through my Google Drive and then download it onto the machine to see if it's to do with the transfer. I don't know. I'm trying, but yeah, probably not going to be a food hall tomorrow. Anyway, that's enough chat. It's like good pasty. Danger nap. <sighs> Territory. We got this hair. Uh, we've come to Costa to get a drink and the dry fit was shut, so John's gone in to get it. But yeah, Ruben went on like the little fairground ride. It was really cute. Um it did really well. I was a bit nervous because sometimes you get like if there's a motorbike and stuff, he gets scared of loud noises and obviously steam engines are loud. Um, and that was the biggest crowd he's he's ever dealt with, and he did it really well. Um, so yeah, he he handled it really well actually. He got a little bit scared of the steam engine, but that was to be expected. But yeah, he is pooped. Didn't take the pram. He walked the whole way. Did carry him a little bit on the way back because it's a bit of a hill. Oh, well, it's going downwards, but it's quite steep. But yeah, <sighs> can have a coffee and go home. Hey guys, so uh, I might have been home for a while. Might have fallen asleep on the sofa for a while. Fresh air, early start, what can I say? Um, Ruben's dinner is in the oven and he's just thrown Lego everywhere. Hello, Ruben is asleep. <laughs> Oop. A bit earlier than normal, which I think is a mix of the early start and all the activity today. Does mean there's a good chance I'm going to be up at 3am. John's outside having an emergency rugby phone call. A uh, big game tomorrow and something's happened, but something always happens. Um, yeah, and I'm going to cook our tea. And it's tea time and tonight we have got southern fried chicken, as to call them burgers, but they're huge, they're like steaks. Not that you can see, hang on. Doo -doo. 
um, some burger cheese, crispy potatoes, mixed salad, coleslaw, all very yummy. Hey guys, so at tea, I've got a flat white. We're watching Storage Hunters UK, which is from like 2015, so it's out of date but funny, like easy watching. John's out on the phone, coaching assistant for tomorrow, joyful. Um, but no, it's quite funny because they just had a bin where it's like, oh, it's one of these prepper weirdos. Because obviously this is 2015 and there was like gas masks and cases of water and cases of food. I'm like, somebody in 2020 would have loved that bin. Like stashes of to toilet roll and things. Just kind of made me laugh. Not laugh, but like smirk. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Well, when he comes in off the phone.